He's fine. Well, if children know who they are, which they do, and their parents seek out the information to help them be happy in their skin, who are you to block them from doing that? I think the important question was if children know who they are. Children do know who they are. At really? what age? At, at three, four, five. They know who they are when they're oh, twisting and twirling. They know who they are. I wish that when I started my transition, I was able to transition earlier in life because that helps you be more feminine or more masculine by using the blockers. You know, that helps people blend in society more. Can I say something about Please. Uh, the idea that kids know who they are? Um, I think the very existence of detransitioners shows that that's not true. Because these kids arrived at the clinic confident, 100% convinced that they knew who they were. Their parents were 100% convinced, apparently because they gave consent, um, that, that these treatments are, are correct. Um, and yet, these kids, uh, very shortly after they got double mastectomies or subjected their bodies to irreversible, often sterilizing treatments, and by the way, if you do the full course of medical transition, even just hormonal, um, it is guaranteed chemical castration for the rest of your life. And these kids went into that office knowing who they are, and yet very quickly after that regretted it. And uh, no less important, the doctors who saw them we're convinced that these kids know who they are, and they got it But right. how often does that and, happen? Okay, so great question. Now he sounds yeah. like a man. Um, in order to have a good, reliable picture of the rates of detransition, we're gonna have to wait at least another decade, probably two. That's, by the way, what clinicians in Europe are saying now, because uh, regret can take a long time to manifest. If you got your breast amputated at the age of 15, the full consequences of that may not be apparent to you until you're in your mid-30s and can't breastfeed. But current research does show, I mean, we have one research paper from 2021 that showed a 30% discontinuation rate of hormones. And, uh, you know, that rate is likely to go up and up and up because the protocol being used at these clinics is kids know who they are. There's no safeguarding. There's no second guessing of a kid's stated identity. And the fewer safeguards we have, the, fewer, the less questioning that we do of these kids' uh, motives and, and mindset, the, the higher the rate of regret and detransition and medical harm is going to be. So, I just want to say... I'll let you go first. First off, right, the individual that was speaking, right, obviously has something going on mentally. Let me just put that out there. Something is going on with that individual mentally. For sure. A hundred percent. I'm just looking at the body language and I can tell something is going on with that individual mentally. For you to even insist that a three or four year old know exactly if they're coming or going is beyond me. My kids are in that age bracket. They can't tell they right from left. There's no way you're going to tell me that these little kids today know exactly what's going on. That's why you have parents. That's why we are in existence. So we can steer them on the right path. The other gentleman that spoke is 100% facts. He basically told you that it's impossible for a three to four year old to know what they're doing, what is taking place. He also said regret doesn't usually seep in until some point in time, you're gonna have to use whatever you snipped off and you regret it. That's when the regret ticked in. He said a person that had breast removal probably ain't going to regret anything until it's time for them to have, ch have children, which will be a female, have children, and then they want to breastfeed, and they can't breastfeed because they can't produce no milk. Man, I don't know what's going on in this world today, man, but this is crazy. 
This is crazy. This is crazy. You want me to believe that three to four year olds know exactly what they want out of life, know exactly that they want to transition into something that they don't know nothing about. So the world today is really trying to program these children to really think that this is the way, this is the way to go. The world is really trying to do that. Listen, man, what you people do with your kids is your business. I don't care. But you're not going to tell me that if my kids come up to me, God forbid, if my kids come up to me and tell me that this is what they want, that I'm supposed to sit there like, oh, 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 okay, yeah, let's go here, let's talk. No. No, okay. No. That ain't happening. That ain't happening. I will never, in a billion gazillion years, never. There's some people that are even up there in age that still don't know what they're doing with themselves in life. So how much more a child who's just fresh out the womb? Some of these kids ain't even see their baby teeth yet. What are you talking about? Man, I'm done, man. Like, mm. um. get her, get whatever, get out of here, man. Get out of here, bro. <laughs> this is what this is a classic. This is a classic case of the inmates are running the asylum. Most people that speaks from that position, I would say a good. I would say all the people that speak from that position that 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 person spoke from was what that man with a wig on spoke from is speaking from a mental illness state. Exactly what I said. So when you say that children know who they are at a certain age and they should be able to make a choice on something that's going to affect them for the rest of their life. There's two people, there's two parties involved that is actually hurting. One is the child and two is the parents. Because when you as a parent is pressured by society to let your kids transition and then your kid transitions, that's your fault as a parent now. Because you allowed your kid, you allow society control control you to help to make your kid transition at three, four years old. What bothers me about this whole thing is this person should be charged or should be investigated for pedophilia. Because oh yeah, definitely. If you're if you're telling me that you are okay with a child who can't have sex, who can't do none of, any of that, if you're telling me that a child has the choice to pick their sexuality, how is that not borderline pedophilia? A child can pick their sexuality. And if it's not pedophilia, that's just some weird shit for you to even say as a grown man. Even yep. if you want to say, well, I'm a trans man, I'm a woman. As a grown trans man, woman, it's still weird for you to say. Yep. Because you're an adult. Yes. You say, well, hormone blockers help, help me detransition. If you have to take a supplement, that's why it's called a supplement. It's not natural. It is something else. It's not yeah. you. So if you have to take something to enhance or to change something about you, that means 
that it's not meant to be. Now, I'm not saying that you can't do it because you can, but you still have to understand it's not natural. If you were born as a woman and you go to the doctor to transition to a man, and then yeah. you have complications years later. It's because you are a woman. You can't cut stuff off, then put stuff on. Because it's not, we're not toys. Even if you had your arm cut off, if they put an arm on your arm, it's going to have complications because it's not your arm. Yeah. If you got your legs amputated and they put prosthetic legs on you, you're going to walk differently. You're going to walk funny because they're not your legs. Mm -hmm. So when you say, I want to take what they call hormone blockers, you're literally blocking something from naturally happening. How can you say, that this is a natural order of something when you're literally using the word block. Yeah. I'm blocking, I'm blocking the natural order. So hormone blockers can stop my child from developing as a man or a boy because they feel like they're a girl. Yes. Yeah. So if I feel like I'm something, I can just take a pill that's going to block me and help me feel more like a woman, even though years down the line, I have to keep on doing this and keep it up. But guess what? People change their mind. So what happens 10 years, 20 years down the line when the girl now wants to be a female she's been a man all this time and now she decides she wants to be a female but she can't because she done got castrated now yeah. she can't have kids now she can't do none of this who she's going to blame who she's going to point at her parents why did yeah. you let me do this as a four-year-old well, this is what we believed that you wanted because we knew that you, you, this is what you said you wanted. We believed it. How can you, how can you even allow a four-year-old to make a decision? They don't even know how to cross the street. You can't, your kids, you can't even leave them outside by themselves. No. They can't drive. They can't go to the mall. They can't do none of this stuff by themselves. You okay with them transitioning from boy to girl because you feel like they don't even know what's a boy and a girl. Yep. It's crazy. We got to get people like this out of here. Yeah, so we again, do. I'm happy that we have freedom of speech because you get to see people like this tell you how they really feel. So let them keep talking. But I'm telling y'all now, a good five years from now, 10 years from now, they're going to be okay with, with, with them, with your kids. People are going to be okay with it. I would never be okay with it. I'm sure you would never be okay with it. But it's going to be a part of society that say, oh, well, it don't matter. It's coming. Trust and believe. Anyway, man, that's the show. Thank y'all for, for tuning in. We'll see y'all, man. It's, it's crazy out here. See y'all. Peace out.